So my grandma is one of my subscribers and uh, she says I have a potty mouth. She says I need to wash my mouth out with soap. So, you know, here it goes. It, it, it was? Yes. Yes. Soap poisoning. No, this is not going to be one of those videos where I piss and moan and complain about how hard my life is. This is going to be more of a what not to do list if you want to progress in skateboarding. Wait a minute, is piss a curse word? <sighs> Alright. Just kidding, I just had to do that again, it was pretty funny. So I've been skateboarding since my 10th birthday when I asked my grandma for a skateboard and she delivered. She's awesome. Since then, I haven't put the board down, and I've pretty much carried it with me everywhere. I mean, to places that, you know, really, what are you going to skate? But I brought it with me because you never know. But I made a huge mistake that seriously slowed my progress. Actually, I made a few mistakes. First of all, I lacked a lot of confidence. I feel that if you truly want to progress in skateboarding, you have to be confident in your abilities. And to build confidence, you need to practice. If you lack confidence in your abilities, then not only will this affect your skateboarding, but this will also affect your everyday life. Another really big issue I had was I let other people's opinions of me as a skateboarder bother me. My life is not their life, and their life is not your life. If skateboarding makes you happy, then do it. Words are only words. They're not stopping you from skating. How you allow yourself to handle their opinion is what will slow you down. I let other people's opinions bother me way too much for a long time. It slowed me down in my progression quite a bit. So don't let other people's opinions of you get to you. They're just opinions. They're over there doing their thing. You can be over here doing your thing. So just enjoy skateboarding and ignore the haters. I also was really afraid of getting hurt in certain types of skating. I would drop down gaps and ledges all the time, but when it came to other things like learning different flip tricks over those gaps and ledges, I would get afraid. I definitely feel that you need to accept the fact that you are going to get hurt. Skateboarding is not for people who are afraid of getting hurt. And if you do love skateboarding, eventually you come to terms with that. I think I just procrastinated a lot because of that fear, and I let it go on way too long. Don't procrastinate out of fear, just come to terms with the fact that you'll get hurt, and go for it. As long as you've got the confidence, you can get past the fear because you'll attempt it and you'll attempt it and eventually you'll get comfortable enough to actually follow through and land what you're trying to land. I also let myself be sidetracked by peer pressure. I know some people kind of laugh at the idea of peer pressure. I know I did when I was a teenager, but it's very real. A lot of times skateboarders are developing their skills the most in junior high and high school. And that's also the time when you feel you really truly need to fit in. I didn't really fit in anywhere and I think that I let the need to fit in override my need to improve myself. This need to fit in caused me to become an alcoholic at a young age, something that I truly regret. I would still be out skating, but I think we can all agree that skateboarding under the influence isn't cool. These bad decisions eventually led to auto theft, prison time, and a lot of recovery time. The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. And also, if you stay down here and you never fuck around, you'll never find out. So remember, just because they're nice to you doesn't mean they have your best interests at heart. They may be going through just as much, if not more, as you, and that much destruction, self-destruction, can lead to a lot of problems. So learn to love yourself, learn to focus on improving yourself, and just enjoy skateboarding. So I know a lot of this sounds like parental advice, but honestly, it's just that I've been there and I've done that. I wasted a lot of valuable time that I could have been doing something positive in my life, letting the negative get to me. So if you want to improve at skateboarding, yeah, there's a lot of regular tips out there and a lot of regular videos that tell you all the normal stuff. But this video is to tell you about the things that not many people talk about. The things that can also be very detrimental and damaging to your abilities on a skateboard. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my videos. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. I do stuff like this. I do gaming videos. I do actual skate edits out with my friends and sometimes by myself. So have a good day. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I'll see you next time.